Whoa, it's a baby T-Rex, and his name is Rory, and this is his friend Mike. Mike, how old is little Rory? Rory is just a baby. In mm. fact, you'll see some other baby T-Rexes in the nest today, Ooh. and dinosaurs in the desert. Cool, well, we have a lot of animals to explore, and guess what? We're on the hunt today for one of the largest land meat eaters that there ever was, the Giganotosaurus. Rory, we have a lot to do, so you stay here with Mike, and we'll catch you guys later. Come on, let's go find the Giganotosaurus. Baba Blast. There are so many animals that we're gonna be able to see and discover on this trail. Oh, and I see their first one right here. Come on, take a look. <laughs> wow, it's a tiger. Look at these huge teeth coming out. Now this was called a saber-toothed tiger. You've probably heard of our common day tiger. Do you wanna see how big their teeth was? All right, check it out. Oh, this is how big a typical tiger's teeth would be. But now check out how big a saber-toothed tiger teeth is. Oh, this is way bigger. Saber-toothed tiger, traditional tiger. Wow, look how big it is right there. Now some of this goes up into their gum line so you don't see all of it. There's more animals to see though, so let's keep going. You won't have any trouble missing these animals because they're big and they're loud. Check out this one, wow. Oh look guys, here is a skull of a Komodo dragon. That is the modern day lizard of that one. Ooh, these can be up to 10 feet in length. But that's nothing compared to how big these can get, which is twice the size, 20 feet. Take a look how big. Wow, you can see his eyes moving and he'll roar. These are incredible animals and Komodo dragons are still around today. Blaster, take us to learn more about Komodo dragons. Here we go. Komodo dragons aren't dragons. They are large lizards with long tails and super strong jaws. Komodo dragons are carnivores and they dine on almost any meat they can find. They've been known to eat other lizards, insects, rodents, and birds. Now, don't get bit by a Komodo dragon. They have a venomous bite. They're one of the few lizards that do. Let's appreciate them from a distance. We've met some amazing animals, but still, we haven't found the Giganotosaurus, so keep a lookout. I don't see any animals over here, although it's really beautiful. But to my left, whoa, there is a huge snake. Let's go take a closer look, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, easy anaconda. This is one of the big snakes that lived millions of years ago, 85 million years ago, in fact. Whoa, it got really close. Let's go in the middle and see if he'll let us hang out with him for a little bit. Hey, this is nice, chilling with a big snake. Well, let's go learn more about snakes, Blaster. It's slithering snakes. Look at all of them. Did you know that there are about 3,000 different types of snakes? Some big, some small, some that can climb trees, some burrow in holes. Some snakes don't have much color and other snakes have lots of color. Pop quiz, pop quiz. What body part do snakes use to smell? A, their tongue. B, the scales on their face, or C, through their eyes? The answer, A, their tongue. Wow, snakes are superb. Snakes are awesome, but they don't really get this big anymore. But we do have a snake skin to show you from a snake that lives here today. Come on, let's go take a look. This is the skull of an anaconda. Check out how their teeth go inwards instead of up and down like our teeth do. That means when prey gets stuck in their mouth, it's hard for them to get out. 
But one of the coolest things about the anaconda is their skin. Check out how big their skin is. Wow. Now, anacondas can be 30 feet long, but this individual that you're looking at was 18 feet, and it's still really big. We have found a lot of big animals so far, like this gigantic snake, but it's not the Giganotosaurus, so we gotta keep looking. Let's go. <laughs> I see another huge animal. It's not a lion, although it's roaring like one. It's not a tiger, although I bet it's as fast as one. It's a B-E-A-R, a bear. Look at this. Wow. This is one of the biggest bears I've ever seen. These are 12 feet high, and I'm six feet, so that's two of me on top of one another. Whoa, hey, it's roaring a lot. I think we need to learn about bears somewhere else. Here we go. Some bears live in the snow. Ooh, looks chilly. But don't worry, these bears have heavy coats and layers of fat to keep them warm. And some bears live near lakes and rivers when they hunt for fish. Look at these bears trying to catch their next meal. And get this, some bears can even walk on their hind legs. Wow. Hey, do you know the largest bear living today? Well, if you said polar bear, you're right. They can weigh up to 1,500 pounds and grow 10 feet long. Cool. Oh, bears are awesome, and this one is huge, but it's nowhere near the size of the Giganotosaurus. So, do you hear that? Oh yeah, the Giganotosaurus is getting closer. Come on, let's go find it. Hey, you found it, it's the Titanus. This is one of the largest birds that ever existed. And you wanna know a cool, but kind of disturbing fact about this big bird? Well, take a look. They used to hunt and eat horses. Here's one of the horses that this Titanus just caught. I don't think he likes us being so close to his food, so we better keep looking. Bye, Titanus. We've met a lot of animals that lived millions of years ago, but we haven't seen any dinosaurs. But do you hear that? Oh, I think the dinosaurs are nearby. Let's see who's up first. Oh, take a look. It's the Pachycephalosaurus. We've learned about these before. Actually, pop quiz time. How thick is the skull of a Pachycephalosaurus? Is it three inches, five inches, 10 inches or 15 inches? Well, the right answer is 10 inches. That's right. Let's take a look at how amazing these guys are. Whoa. Listen closely, you can hear them make all sorts of noises and grunts. Like that. Hey, Pachycephalosaurus. Nice to see you. We're looking for the Giganotosaurus. Doesn't seem to be too helpful. Oh, that one's making a grunt noise too. Do you know where the Giganotosaurus is? Yes? I don't think these dinosaurs are very helpful. Let's see if we can find another helpful dinosaur. Come on. There are dinosaurs everywhere now. Look at this one. It looks like that's right, doesn't it look like a Stegosaurus? Well, it's a close relative, but it's called the Kentrosaurus. Now, the Kentrosaurus has a very unique characteristic. Let's get a closer look. See these big spikes coming out on the side? Well, that means if any other dinosaur, maybe like a T-Rex, came to bite it, this spike would say, ah, 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 you're not eating me. Stegosauruses are cool, but Blaster, can you take us to a time where we can learn more about Stegosauruses? All right, here we go. 
The spikes coming out of the stegosaurus are actually called plates. And some scientists believe that these plates protected the stegosaurus from other predators. Now, the stegosaurus ate plants. And get this, they also ate tiny rocks. Why? Well, the rocks helped mash up the leaves and plants that the stegosaurus ate. Good thing we don't need to eat rocks to help us digest our vegetables. Ha! Could you imagine? Now, one of the coolest features of the stegosaurus was their spiked tail. And this spiked tail had a very cool name. It's called a thagomizer. <laughs> cool tail, stegosaurus. I love all dinosaurs, but Blaster, we're still on the hunt for the Giganotosaurus, and we're having not a lot of luck. We better keep looking, because what do we do? We never give up. That's right, come on. Well, now that we're in Dinosaur Alley, we should be able to hear and see a lot more dinosaurs. So, keep those eyes open, and hey, keep those ears open too. Whoa, look at this dinosaur nest. Maybe those eggs belong to the Giganotosaurus. But we know that's dinosaurs, not one. It's too small. Whoa, look at this. Do you know what type of dinosaur this is? Blaster, that is a good guess. It is a type of Ankylosaurus. Let's get a closer look. It has this beautiful dark red and yellow. And then up top, it has these spikes to keep it safe. Wow, there are lots of types of Ankylosauruses. Let's go learn about some of them. Blaster, take it away. Also known as the armed lizard, the Ankylosaurus was built like an army tank. Rugged, tough, and durable. Perhaps the defining characteristic of the Ankylosaurus was its tail club. Now their tail was thought to be used when battling other dinosaurs over territory. But other scientists believe that they would display their cool tail in order to attract a mate. One thing is for sure, the Ankylosaurus was one of the toughest dinosaurs. Oh, Ankylosauruses are tough and really cool. But check out these dinosaurs. These raptors are having lunch. Take a look. Wow. A lot of people think that dinosaurs are just scales and bones and shell, but that's not the case. Dinosaurs are also covered in feathers. You can see the feathers on these raptors. I feel like the dinosaurs are getting bigger and bigger, and you know what that means? We're getting closer and closer to the Giganotosaurus. Whoa, this dinosaur just caught a fish. Let's take a look. This is called a Suchomimus. Wow and it had a long snout, perfect to be able to grab fish right out of the water. Oh, it's opening its mouth so you can get a close look. But a Suchomimus is not a what? That's right, it's not a Giganotosaurus. So we gotta keep going, come on. Wow, an Allosaurus. This looks just like the one with the fish in its mouth. This is a carnivore, and it lived 145 million years ago. It was the largest land car carnivore of the late Jurassic period. You think we should get a little closer? Well, let's take a look. Hey, Mr. Allosaurus. We're looking for the Giganotosaurus. Any help? Well, he's a quiet little dinosaur, isn't he? That's okay. We'll find it without your help. Right, Blaster? Perfect. Let's keep going. You stay really quiet and we don't scare them away. There are little tiny baby dinosaurs that I want you to see, but they're actually not babies, they're full grown. They're just really small. Let's take a look at these. Oh, wow. It, maybe if I move slow, they'll let me get close to them. Now I am surrounded by a whole bunch of little copies. These are might look really cute, but I promise you, they can move very fast and they have lots of little teeth. Take a closer look.
I know we're on the hunt for the Giganotosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs, but aren't little dinosaurs just as cool? Let's go learn more about some of the tiniest dinosaurs that ever were. The Comsignathus, or better known as Compies, were tiny pack hunters that likely hunted bugs and lizards. Weighing about six pounds and standing under five feet in length, these cute looking dinos grew to be about the size of a turkey. But don't let their small size fool you. Compies were fast. They could run 40 miles per hour. The fastest human can only run about 25 miles per hour. You are not going to win a race against a compie. All right, enough with these little dinosaurs. It's time to go find the Giganotosaurus once and for all. Lasher, those are tiny dinosaurs. We're looking for a really big one. Keep your eyes out. We've met so many cool animals, Blaster, but that roar has to be the roar of a Giganotosaurus, and it sounds so close. Is it under here? No, is it over that hill? No, is it? Oh man, Blaster, it's right in front of us. There it is, the Giganotosaurus, one of the biggest land mammal eaters in the entire world. Wow, it looks like it's going after that T-Rex in their nest. Hey, Blaster, give us the protected shield and let's get as close as we can to the Giganotosaurus, okay? Here we go. All right, now we can get close, come on. Wow. The Giganotosaurus is facing off with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh man. Look how big their teeth is and the tongue. Oh. Oh, that was really close. And take a look at the T-Rex too. Oh man, this T-Rex is facing off with the Giganotosaurus. I don't know who's gonna win that fight. Hey, we found what we were looking for and we couldn't have done it without your help. Thank you and thanks to the Phoenix Zoo for making this possible. We'll see you on the next one, bye-bye. Bye-bye, blast. -bye.